Hi kids, welcome to Dixie Storytime World. Hope you're all doing well today. Let's listen to The Long Ride Home. One rainy morning, Dad gave all the children a ride in his new car. He had important work to do at his office, so he didn't want to be late. First, he stopped near Paul's school to let him get out. Goodbye, Paul. Have a nice day, said Dad. Next, Dad drove to the kindergarten and stopped by the gate to let Rachel get out. Goodbye, Rachel, he said. Have fun playing with your friends. They waved to each other as he drove away. Dad looked at his watch because he didn't want to be late for work. Then Dad drove along the street where Grandma lived, but he didn't stop to let Sarah get out. He drove right past Grandma's house, whistling happily to himself. He had forgotten all about Sarah. Sarah called out to him, Dad, what about me? Stop, there's Grandma's house. But he was whistling too loudly to hear her little voice. Sarah called out again, Dad, I need to go to Grandma's house today. Please take me back. But a fire truck zoomed past with its siren screaming, Ooh! Sarah tried again, Dad, I can't go to work with you, she shouted from the back seat. But Dad had turned on the radio to listen to some music. He couldn't hear Sarah's quiet voice, so he drove on to get to work. An ambulance followed the fire truck, making more noise with its siren. Sarah yelled loudly, Dad, you've forgotten about me. Grandma will be waiting for me. Dad was singing with the radio music so he couldn't hear anything else. He just kept driving through the rain to get to work. After Dad had parked the car at his office, he reached into the back for his umbrella. He got a big surprise to see his little girl sitting quietly in the back seat. Sarah, what are you doing here? He asked. You forgot to stop at Grandma's house to let me out, said Sarah sadly. You drove right by. But why didn't you call out to me? asked Dad. I tried to tell you, said Sarah, but you couldn't hear me. First you were whistling. Then there was a noisy fire truck with a siren. After that, you turned on your radio. The ambulance had a loud siren too. I tried to shout, but you couldn't hear my voice. I'm really sorry that I forgot to stop, said Dad. And I'm sorry that I didn't hear you call out. Dad turned the car around and drove right back to Grandma's house. He didn't whistle or turn on the radio. Sarah and Dad sang together all the way. Now I'll go back to work, he said. I won't ever forget you again. Now kids, are you a word whiz? Let's read these words together. Nice. Office. Ambulance. Price. Race. Face. How many new words can you make from these? Here. Sorry. Fun. Scream. Stopped. Thank you for listening and learning. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you're always updated on all the new stories.